Welcome to Stanley, Scuba, Sailing, and Adventures. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. In this video, we'll look at how to tell the difference between hawksbill and green sea turtles in four easy ways. Let's take a look at a couple turtles first. Do you know what kind that is? There's a different view. How about this one? He looks a little different. And here's another view of that one. The first way to tell them apart is by their prefrontal scales. The hawksbill sea turtle has two pairs of prefrontal scales, while the green sea turtle only has one pair of prefrontal scales. Here's a hawksbill sea turtle. Look between his beak and his eyes, and you'll see there are two or two pair of scales. Let's look from the top. Here you can clearly see that they are actually two pair and not just two scales. Now let's take a look at the green sea turtle. Look between his beak and his eyes. You can clearly see he has one pair of scales. Another great way to tell these two turtles apart is by their beaks. The hawksbill sea turtle has a hawk-like beak, while the green sea turtle has a rounded beak. Look at the beak on this hawksbill sea turtle. See how it sticks out and points forward, like that of a hawk? Notice the difference here in the green sea turtle's beak. Look how it goes straight down from his nose. The third way to tell these two turtles apart is by their scoots. The scoots overlap on the hawksbill sea turtle, while the green turtle's scoots do not overlap. Let's take a look. Look at the back, look at the shell, and look at how the scoots seem to overlap. There's not a clear definition between them. Now on the green turtle, you can see them clearly defined, almost like tiles, with grout between them. There's a clear definition. Let's take a look at the turtle from a different view. This is the hawksbill again. Notice how the scoots overlap. The sutures between the scoots are not well defined. But when we look at the back of the green sea turtle, the scoots are clearly defined. The fourth way to tell these two turtles apart is by the carapace edges. The back of the carapace of the hawksbill sea turtle is serrated while the back of the green turtle's carapace is smooth. Look at the back edge of the hawksbill sea turtle's carapace. Notice the serrated edges. Now let's look at the green sea turtle's carapace. Look at the back edge. It's very smooth compared to the hawksbill sea turtle. No serrated edges. Let's recap. The hawksbill sea turtle has two pair of prefrontal scales, or four prefrontal scales, between the beak and the eye. The beak is shaped like a hawk. The scutes overlap, and the carapace has serrated edges. Recall the green sea turtle has one pair of prefrontal scales, or two scales, between the beak and eyes. The beak is rounded and much shorter the scoots do not overlap and are clearly defined like tiles, and the carapace is smooth on the back edge, not serrated. I'm sad to report that the hawksbill sea turtle is critically endangered. That means it has an extremely high risk of becoming extinct. The green sea turtle is endangered and likely to become extinct. I hope that you too get to see these animals in the wild while there are still some left. Thanks for watching.